What's going on, guys? Um, it's a bit of a change, isn't it? To be on the balcony. <clears throat> it's a nice place. It's where I hang out quite a lot. So, basically, from now on, I'm going to do my best never to make a Pet Go 2 video again. I can't get away from this curse. You may not think that this has any substance or validity to it, but you would be wrong. I don't know how it hooks people in the way it does, but it's not related to the, I don't think it's even related to the actual cartoon, but to the deity that the cartoon portrays who is an energy vampire siphoning the energy of people such as myself and others who research this topic. And by making videos about it, I'm doing my audience a disservice by exposing them to dark forces they don't need to be exposed to. And I feel a sense of guilt for doing that. No one will ever figure out the date. No one will ever have it right. And there's no sense in trying. He will come, but nobody knows when. In the meantime, he's going to try with his hypnotic gaze, with his hypnotic sort of ambiance to lure people into his trap. And I haven't done enough to protect myself from the curse. I haven't done enough work to make sure I'm protected against those evil forces. And um, now I am going to make sure of that. I'm going to make sure that it doesn't influence me. So just to get to the dream... It's nothing particularly that interesting, but there's something in it that I wanted to share. And it's kind of weird. So yes, I did tap into an alternate version of self. I did tap into, forgive me for the helicopter, please let it pass just a moment. So I live a mile away from the busiest municipal airport in the U.S. By municipal meaning it's not a national or international airport. Essentially, it's the busiest small airport in the U.S. Um, there's 24 hours a day. It just keeps going and going nonstop. Um, really busy place. So, yeah, I think the helicopter passed. Okay. So yes, I did, did tap into another dimension of self. I was with a couple of friends. And it seems like we were teenagers. Um, or really young. Maybe early 20s. I never got a look at myself. But I got a really good look at these two people. One was almost like Middle Eastern or Ar Middle Eastern or Arabic looking girl, very short. And the other was a Middle Eastern, very heavy set looking man. Um, and uh, we were going somewhere. We were going to some kind of party or something that we were invited to. And we're strolling through a city that really reminds me of Philadelphia or New York, somewhere on the eastern seaboard. And um, we go into this party, and there's nothing but cops, like police officers, dressed in full uniform. And uh, we came in. And they kept telling us, you're not invited here. You can't be part of our team. And um, 
I, we kept asking why. And every time they kept saying that you're not invited here, I felt this like extreme sense of rejection in the dream, a very profound sense of rejection. And uh, there's one man there that, that was extremely tall. He was probably about seven feet tall. And uh, he gave me this look, this look that's just really off-putting and strange. And um, he really stared me down, like almost looked into my soul. He, he was very tall, he had short hair and he had glasses on. I did notice something about all these cops though. I noticed something odd. They were all missing a piece of their equipment. And I took specific notice of this in the dream. They had no tasers. None of them had a taser. And I noticed that very specifically. And I looked at each and every one of them. And when I woke up, we ended up just going to some room somewhere and hanging out together with the three of us away from them. But the, a taser is associated with electricity. And uh, trying to find the deeper meaning or interpretation of this dream, I thought there might be some correlation to electricity because they all have no tasers. And um, as far as police officers in general go, I've seen them in many dreams. They seem to appear very often in my dreams. Um, like those time cops I talked about or something of that nature. Very, very common to see law enforcement in my dreams over the years. Now, are these actual cops? Or what, or what we would deem as astral police time cops, things that work in the ethereal realms, because I think that's what they are. Anyway, that specific detail is what I wanted to talk about and tell you guys and ask you what you think it means, the fact that there is no tasers. Have a good day.